Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we're going to start with Chapter 11, Forestry and Resource Management. Firstly, we're going to talk about renewable resource management. Resources are either renewable such as soil or non-renewable such as fossil fuels. Goal is sustainability. Resource use that occurs only as fast as can be naturally replaced must balance human and ecological needs. Then, moving to the maximum sustainable yields. Goal is to harvest maximum resources without compromising future harvest. Population size are kept far below carrying capacity, enabling fast growth. MSY can affect interactions between species and alter entire ecosystems. Determining target population size is largely a matter of trial and error. As you can see here, we have the logistic growth and MSY. So population size, and then we have time. We have slow growth, fastest growth, and then slow growth again. And this is the carrying capacity. So we are trying to keep it below the carrying capacity. Maximum sustainable yields is like finding the right balance when fishing or harvesting resources from nature. It means taking as much as we can from the environment without harming it in the long run. It's like having a magic number of fish or plants that we can catch or gather each year without making the population too small or weak. MSY helps us use natural gifts wisely ensuring there is always enough for us and for the plants and animals to thrive and renew themselves. It's like a smart way of sharing and enjoying natural treasures without hurting the source of these gifts. Moving to ecosystem-based forest management. So the goal here is to harvest resources while minimizing effects on the rest of the ecosystem. Ecologically sensitive areas are carefully monitored and protected. Resources are harvested selectively. Ecosystems are complex, so choosing which area to protect and which to harvest is going to be a challenge. Ecosystem-based forest is a way of taking care of forests that considers the whole ecosystem not just individualized trees instead of focusing only on cutting down trees or protecting certain species. This looks at how all the living things in a forest like plants, animals, and insects work together. The goal is to maintain the health of the entire ecosystem while still using the forest's resources. It takes into account that relationship between different species, the water and soil, and the overall balance of the forest. 